Hello, servus, welcome back to the channel. I'm Mace, your amateur Canadian, best host on the West Coast. I'm on Vancouver Island. It's a beautiful day, the sun is shining. I'll go to work in a couple of hours and enjoy some time uh, outside and doing some recreational activities. It should be a fantastic day. I got my Tim Hortons, can't go wrong. I mean, no, Tim Hortons kind of sucks, but it's a matter of convenience, basically. It's a matter of con convenience and budget because Tim Hortons coffee is fairly cheap, but it would be even cheaper if we made coffee at home. So kind of an amateur there. That's why, hence, I'm the amateur Canadian. We got a video. Police USA versus Deutschland. Let's check it out. We know police in the United States of America and just the United States of America in general is somewhat of a dumpster fire the last couple of years. Basically since Y2K. It's been a dumpster fire. Especially since the advent of social media becoming so predominant in culture and something that's so manipulative and influential over so many people. It's really skewed a lot of issues and it really allows a lot of people who don't necessarily have the expertise to comment on things at will whenever they wish. And it's a matter of the police brutality and lack of training, lack of accountability, lack of consequences. But the police in Canada are better. But any police force is going to inevitably have negative press and negative things happening because they have a tough job. And I still respect the police. There's these people that hate the police, but at the end of the day, if they're in trouble, if they need to dial 911, they're going to do it. And if the police don't get there fast enough, they're going to complain. But on the other flip side of that, they're complaining online about how we should defund the police and we don't need police. We can just commute. We can police ourselves and all of these things like, no, police are a necessary, uh, a necessary part of our society. I don't know. I'm just being a windbag this morning. Let's check out the video. Do you know why I pulled you over? No, officer. Did I do anything wrong? Is this your car? Oh, you think I stole this car? I didn't say that. Look, I I'm just following protocol. Oh, you're just following protocol? Okay. Well, I know how this goes. Here's my license. Okay, great. This is supposed to be Deutschland, I guess, right? Is there anything else? You want to search me for drugs? You want to take a piss sample, maybe? No, but there is a problem. Oh, yeah? Enlighten me. Your license plate. It expired yesterday. Oh, really? I will have to file a charge, you know, the fine for this offense is at least 200 euro. Oh man, are you serious? 200 euro for one day? Yes, but you know what? I'm kind of in a good mood today, so I'll make an exception, okay? I'll let it pass, but you fix that ASAP. If I see you again and you didn't, we're gonna have a problem. <laughs> if I see you again and you didn't, we're gonna have a problem. I've had some good encounters with some Canadian police officers and they've done the same thing with me. There was one time I didn't even have my license on me. I forgot my wallet at home. I got pulled over. I don't even know why I was pulled over. It was, I can't remember exactly, but he gave me a warning. He said, hey, next time, make sure you take your wallet with you and et cetera, et cetera. And it was all good. So I, I've been warned a couple of times. Another time for speeding as well. I was going like, I wasn't speeding that bad, but he pulled me over and said, hey, in this area, just slow down. I'm going to give you a warning today. You know, you're being polite and, and it's all good. Yeah, yeah, of course, officer. I'll, I'll fix it as soon as possible. All right. Drive safe. Yeah, thanks. 
Oh, um, one more thing. I'm actually looking for the train station. I'm a bit lost here. I was wondering if you could, like, direct me there. Do you know what way it is? Uh, yeah, the train station is just down this road, maybe 200 meters. Then you turn right, then left. Uh, you know what? You know, there's stereotypes and then there's statistics and then there's perceptions. Because you could have the same encounter that is being depicted here. The encounter here is being depicted of a German police officer being polite and being uh, very forthcoming and just uh, overall helpful with the citizen. You could definitely have the same encounter and the same encounters happen in the United States, but there's just a different perception because of the media. And also there is a lot of bad policemen and I'm sure there's a lot of bad policemen in Germany as well. So it's just, there's bad people, there's good people. I don't know, it's tough. I'm going this way anyway, just just follow me and I show you the way, okay? He's being extra oh. helpful though, that's for sure. Yeah, thanks. Put your hands out of the window! <sighs> your hands where I can see them! Now! What, what's going on? License and registration! Is there a problem, officer? License and registration! I'm, I'm asthmatic. <laughs> So it's funny, but like it's incredibly over the top, right? Like it's completely unrealistic. Depending on why they pulled this guy over. However, there is obviously a lot of racial profiling in the US and Canada as well. And the police forces have to reckon with that. But this is kind of a parody of that. Uh, it's obviously over the top, but it is pretty funny. <laughs> I can't breathe. Can I? Can I reach over for my inhaler, please? License and registration. <laughs> okay, it's in my wallet. It's just in the seat. Don't move! So like if, if this so-called American police officer, say he pulled him over and he was driving behind him and they ran the plate and it's a stolen vehicle, they are going to be in a heightened uh, mode of engagement because if this dude who's driving the vehicle, they're driving a stolen vehicle, so they're probably not a good dude, right? If it was came back as a stolen vehicle, that is. If you pull them over for it, it so it all depends on the context, right? Um, however, situations like this do happen, so. License. Okay, okay. And registration. It's on the seat beside me, okay? I'm gonna reach for it. One hand. Slowly. <sighs> He's got a weapon. You know what? And sadly, like things like that do happen. Uh, the context is always different, but things like that happen when uh, the police will have their gun pointed on somebody and they'll say, put your hand, like, keep your hands up, keep your hands where I can see them. And the, the person will be very anxious and it's a very tense situation, right? And like things that's when those bad things happen because the person's trying to explain to them, oh, I'm just going to grab my, my phone. I'm just going to grab my phone. It's my my girlfriend's calling me and she's going to explain everything. Just let me grab my phone. They reach for the phone and it's sad. But you could do this video with like a, a bunch of other countries, like not even Germany. So, and then I'm sure there's a lot of like, Yeah. Anyways, it's it's a parody video. It's it's like satirical and it's it's pretty funny, but it's satirical always has some root of truth as well. So, auf Wiedersehen. See you soon. Tschüss.